All right, let's take a look at what's coming out in September. How am I supposed to afford all of this? What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna talk a little bit about September because boy oh boy is it looking packed with video game releases. I'm talking about almost every other day it looks like there's a game coming out. It's, it's like almost a span of two days apart. Like everything is crazy. So we're gonna take a look at some of these games that are coming out. I'm gonna talk about the five that I plan on picking up because I have to limit myself. There's too many of these games. I can't afford all of this unless, you know, something, maybe I win the lottery. I don't know, but that's, that seems like the only way that I'm going to be able to afford all of the games that are coming out in September, but I narrowed my list down to five. Trying to be reasonable. That's how I work. Now, it was very hard to narrow my list down to only five games because I'm talking about there is a lot of stuff coming out. So the first game that I want to highlight that I plan on picking up, my pickup number one, it's coming out early in the month. It's gonna be Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Now I know that the Spyro Reignited Trilogy has already come out on PlayStation 4 and that's great. I love my copy on the PlayStation 4. It's stationary, it's in one spot. I can't take it with me on the go, but that's the reason why I'm picking it up on the Nintendo Switch because A, I absolutely love Spyro. It's one of my favorite games, I grew up with it. And I would love to have that game portable. That game just seems like the perfect game to add to my Switch library, even though I already own it. I think it's a fantastic pickup for the Nintendo Switch simply for the portability aspect. It's gonna be a great game that I can just pick up and go. I recently bought a bike. You probably saw me bragging about it on Twitter. I'm probably gonna pack my Switch in my book bag, put Spyro in there, find me a nice little mountaintop to play my games on and I don't know why I'm playing Mountaintop really come on man I'm, I'm probably gonna port it around with me and play it so that's the reason why I want to pick up Spyro I feel like it's a perfect addition to the Nintendo Switch like I said before so moving on my next pickup is going to have to be Gears 5 now I know that during E3 people thought that it was a lackluster reveal they didn't really show much they showed some new game mode that nobody really cared about they had a weird Little John song playing in the background. Let's go! I don't know what, uh, it is what it is. But I am really, really excited for Gears 5 after I saw the reveal of the campaign. Now it looks like they're really going back to their roots with like a lot of the things that were happening in the first three games. So you have these like giant boss battles. It looked, it, the, the reveal looked absolutely insane from the gameplay trailer that we got at Gamescom versus the one that we got at E3. Now, it makes me really excited because I absolutely love Gears of War. It's one of my favorite series, and it got me really upset. After Judgment came out, the series just, to me, it got stale. It didn't, didn't really do it for me. G Judgment was absolutely awful, in my opinion. Four, it's okay, but it's, I felt like I was fighting so many robots, it didn't feel like Gears of War to me anymore. It felt like Terminator more than anything, which makes sense because they're adding Terminator DLC into the game which I find hilarious, and I am absolutely excited about that as well, because Terminator is absolutely another crazy franchise that I think meshes well with this world in general, so I think that it's gonna be a great pickup. I'm really excited to see what it, what it ends up being, uh, just because Gears of War, I don't want it to be bad. It's one of those Xbox exclusives that I really feel they need to make sure that this game comes out good. It's been a couple of years since we've gotten Gears 4. Please, 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 don't let us down with Gears 5, baby. The next game that I am excited to play in the month of September has got to be Borderlands 3. This game looks absolutely incredible. Ever since they revealed this at PAX East, I've been itching to play this game. Uh, the graphics, the gameplay, everything about this game looks absolutely phenomenal. I am really excited to see what's going on with these new villains. I don't know much about what's going on in the storyline as of right now, just because I've been trying to keep myself in the dark because I want to be surprised when I play this game. When it comes to my favorite franchises, I try to keep myself away from spoilers, too much stuff, because when I play the game, that's the experience and that's the everything that I want to see 
unfold while the game is happening. I don't like to be spoiled in, in trailers and story trailer. I don't know, whatever it is, all right? I don't like to be, I don't like to have the story spoiled for me, okay? But I'm excited to get my hands on Borderlands 3. Everything about it looks awesome. I can't wait to get a few friends and go vault hunting or whatever it is that we're going to be doing in this game. Let's go. And my most, my most anticipated game of September. Bus Simulator, baby. Let's go. Let's get it. You know what? On second thought, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pass on Bus Simulator. I, I'm really excited for it, but <laughs> how am I gonna do that and play all these other games in the same month? I just can't do it. I just can't figure it out. We're just gonna have to scratch it off the list here. All joking aside, let's be serious. The next game that I plan on picking up is Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. I know that some people are not crazy about the art style. I know that some people think that it's going to be a short game, shouldn't be worth 60 bucks. Okay, I get it. Don't buy it if you don't like it. Whatever. Me? I'm going to buy it. I'm a big Zelda fan. So it's geared towards us big gold Zelda Zelda, Zelda fans, all right, man? I'm going to play that game. I'm going to love it. I think the art style looks good. I think that it looks like some little toy action figures or something like that. It looks good. It reminds me of... Link to the Past, it reminds me of the games that I grew up with. Maybe this game isn't for the new generation. Maybe this game is for the older generation that grew up with Legend of Zelda and maybe want to have some sort of nostalgia factor, but have a modern game. That's the perfect part about Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening is that I feel like it is blending the old style of A Link to the Past, things of that nature with new updated graphics. It doesn't have to be Breath of the Wild graphics. We have Breath of the Wild 2 in development. This game looks like it's going to be phenomenal. I'm excited to play it. I think that it's going to be worth the money. Maybe they've added some things here and there. We don't know yet, okay? Let's, get, let's not get our panties in a bunch, all right? Let's just wait till it comes out, man. And the last game that I plan on picking up in September might confuse you. It's Contra Rogue Corps. Yeah, I'm planning on picking that up. Now, I know that it looks kind of crappy, and that's okay, because it reminds me of a game called Cannon Spike on the Dreamcast, and yes, you can play as a panda bear. You have these ridiculous things that are going on. I know, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be a AAA title or anything like that, but that's what I love. I love these crappy weird games that I can just pop in, have a little bit of fun, and hop out. It doesn't look like something that I'm going to sit there and play for hours and hours and hours. It looks like something that I can get on my Nintendo Switch, pop it in when I want to, maybe play a little bit before I go to bed. Maybe, like I said before, put it in my book bag if I'm taking a bike ride somewhere. Maybe I want to pop up and just take a break a little bit and maybe post up and play a little bit of Contra Rogue Corps. It just looks like bite-sized fun that I can sit down and play whenever I feel like it. And that's one of the reasons why I plan on picking this game up. No real in-depth story that I expect from this game. I don't expect this game to be a hundred million seller, okay? It is what it is. It's Contra. And I'm excited about that. And maybe if we support this one, we'll get some actual real 2D style Contra games again. Who knows? We got the collection. We got a pretty awesome collection at that. And then we got this. It's coming out. It is what it is. I'm excited. I'm going to try it out. I'll let you know how it is. Now, although those were the ones that I plan on picking up, I will have to say there are some honorable mentions. Now, the reason why Dragon Quest XI was not on this list is because, A, I already own it on the PlayStation, and I didn't feel like it was a necessary purchase in September. Do I plan on purchasing it on my Switch? Maybe. But if I can get that extra DLC and everything like that on my PlayStation, I'm totally fine with playing it where I have it. I don't see the reason to spend another $60 or whatever the price is when I choose to pick it up, if I choose to pick it up. I don't plan on buying it just because it, I don't see a real reason to spend that much money to get the same game plus a little bit of DLC. If I can get the DLC and add it to the game that I already own, it just makes more sense to me. Another honorable mention would have to be Code Vein. Now, I've never been big into Dark Souls or anything like that, and I know someone's probably going to be sitting here like, It's not like Dark Souls, Rex! <laughs> and that's fine. I never got into those style of games just because it never really resonated with me. Up until Sekiro came out, and that really piqued my interest. It made me go back and start playing things like Dark Souls, and I actually really enjoy them after 
understanding the mechanics. It just took something like Sekiro to give me a better understanding of the gameplay, I guess. It, it just, something about it drew me to the other games. That's why I'm excited about Code Vein. Code Vein does look like it has a pretty interesting art style. It has like this super anime art style. I don't really know how to describe it, but it looks really cool. That's all that matters to me. I think it's an honorable mention. Let's move on. And my last honorable mention, yes, I'm being serious with this one. It's gonna be VR Ping Pong Pro. Yeah, that it, it might be something that I actually pick up. It might just actually be something that I pick up, if it comes out. It, it has a to be determined uh, release date right now, so I think that if this game comes out, I'll probably give it a try. I do need stuff to put on my HTC Vive. All I have right now is like Fallout VR and Beat Saber that make me turn that on. And honestly, I've played so much of both of those games that I really just don't even dust that thing off. I need a reason to dust it off. VR Ping Pong Pro seems like a good reason to do that. It looks like it's gonna have online multiplayer, which looks pretty awesome. And Ping Pong just happened to be one of my favorite games on the Wii uh, when it came to Wii Sports. So I think that that's gonna be something that will be a good addition to my VR setup. And I'm excited to play something new on the VR. Give me Ping Pong, I'll play it. So that's gonna be it for me, guys. I really am interested to know what you guys are picking up this September. There is so many games that we didn't even scratch the surface of and talk about. So let me know what you guys are planning on picking up in the comment section below. And if you happen to notice that I am wearing a Rax the Great t-shirt and you wanna get your own Rax the Great merch, you can head over to raxthegreat.storeenvy.com, pick up some merch. It goes to help out the channel and I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, you guys can just help out the channel by smashing that like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, share the video, and uh, I'll see you around. Have a good one.